How's it going guys? It's Peter from Phone Tech Net and I'm here to bring you a first look at the Swift Key Flow beta keyboard. I signed up about a month ago, roughly, to be part of the beta testing group for Swift Key Flow. Um, and if you've never heard of Swift Key Flow and you have a smartphone, or an Android in particular, you need to go to the App Store right now and download it. Uh, because it is hands down the best keyboard that I've ever used and I would highly recommend it to anybody. And you know, you, you say, oh, you have to pay, you know, two or three dollars for a keyboard. It's really that worth it. It is that good. So enough about that. You know, they're not my sponsor or anything. I just wanted to uh, highly recommend this product. So getting down to the phone itself. As you can see here, I have the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 on Verizon Wireless. With all of its carrier branding, and everybody's going to hate it. But you know, it is what it is. Um, the carrier branding doesn't make the phone. The, you know, the hardware makes the phone. And that's what matters to me. So, I'm going to go and I'm going to give you an example of Swift Key. As much as you'd like to read my text, I'm not going to let you, sorry. <clears throat> so, I'm going to go into a text and I'm going to say, Hi, how are you? And as you can tell, it's, pr you know, it's pretty dang good actually. It uses a the same whatever algorithm that SwiftKey does in order to give you the best predictions for your words. And I've got to say it does a hell of a job. Uh, one thing that really did throw me off though is if you've ever used SwiftKey and you, you know that you know, you're know you typing a word and you can just swipe back to uh, you know delete the word, well obviously with swipe now being a part of the keyboard that's not um, possible to do anymore. So what they've done is instead of t having them tap the back button multiple times, let's, let's just type some weird word you can just hold the back button and it functions as that swipe back and um, you know at first I was kinda like oh this is annoying I'm just, I just want to be able to swipe backwards but it, you know it's not really possible um, but after I use it a little bit now I'm, I'm so used to it that I kind of enjoy it I switched back to Swift Key excuse me um, just to kinda get a comparison feel of them um, and as I'm using it, I'm thinking, I actually tried to swipe with it, and I'm like, oh wait, I can't do that. This is bizarre. And then I found myself needing SwiftKey Flow again. That's kind of how I felt when I went from stock keyboard to SwiftKey. And then I went back to just stock keyboard. I thought, whoa, I need this keyboard. You know, it's, you have the full functionality of being able to, you know, type out a word. And then you also have the ability to swipe as well. And, um, uh, it makes... I think it makes texting and typing and just everything a whole lot faster, personally. <clears throat> now, when we throw in the S Pen, oh, oh, that's when things get really cool. There's no extra features for having the S Pen, but it's just a lot easier to be able to pinpoint, not reach, but each word you want to type. Oops. And that was just a completely live demonstration. Everything I said, I typed pretty accurately. Um, it's just nice to be able to do that. <clears throat> the larger screen, I think, also helps with flow. Um, having a smaller screen, I can see being kind of an issue. Personally, since I've got this phone, it's more power to me because I love it. Um, the Android keyboard that came actually on the uh, Verizon Galaxy Note 2 came with what they claim to be a Swift Key Flow but I'm just going to tell you right now they are absolutely nothing alike this one blows it out of the water um, and I, I really don't know how else to say it but it just blows it out of the water uh, it performs perfectly well you can still go through and customize it however you like think about it as the word prediction is a little different because it's still in beta um, sometimes words like I noticed the word it's IT apostrophe S. A lot of times it'll say the word is instead. See, I'm trying to get the word it's. I don't know if you can see, but it's saying is. There you go, you got it's. And then I wonder if I have to go drag down to apostrophe to just to get it's. I don't know. I don't know how they're going to work that sort of kink out. Um, I remember somebody said they had typed the word some and the word sausage came out, so I don't know how that came about. But little tweaks here and there, but then you have to remember it is in beta mode. Um, or, excuse me, beta phase. Uh, so it's not going to be perfect, but for what it is, um, for being a free addition to key, SwiftKey, or at least for now, uh, I think it's fantastic for what it is. 
uh, it's made my it's made using my keyboard just a lot easier and I've gotten used to it in just a day I, I woke up this morning I downloaded it uh, I downloaded the, you know, the packages I customized it how I had my old Swift key because you do have to recustomize it and I got I, I used it a little bit and I thought oh this isn't as fast as Swift key I don't like it let me give it a little bit more time just so I can give an accurate review and then I started using it a little more throughout the day and I thought no this isn't too bad and then I switched back to Swift key and I said I need it back I need it back so I can foresee myself keeping it. I mean, that's always a plus. In my book, in order to have a keyboard uh, that's worth keeping, it should be as productive, if not more, than the one that I have right now. And no keyboard up until this point has been able to compete with SwiftKey. So that is definitely a good thing in my books. Uh, all in all, highly, highly, highly recommend it to anybody who has SwiftKey or even doesn't have SwiftKey. Um, it's really combining the best of both worlds in, the, in Android keyboards. It doesn't get better than this. Um, I will put a download link in the description for it. Uh, I don't think you need to have SwiftKey previously. Um, I figure, you know, the, the more beta testers they have to give them more feedback, I think the, the better. If they don't like it, they'll they'll tell me and they'll take it down. So that's pretty much all I've got as far as uh, you know. A quick look at SwiftKey Flow. If you got any questions, shoot me a message, leave a comment. I'd be more than happy to answer it. I mean, I've always got this sucker on me, and um, I'll get back to you within. I would imagine just a couple hours if it takes that long. So this is Peter signing off from Phone Tech Net. Uh, like I said, I'm here for you guys. If you got any questions? Let me know in some some way. Um, that's all I got. So take it easy. Uh, enjoy this. I will give you the link. Enjoy it. It'll be in the description. And you know, keep going out there and Droid for life, baby. Here come all the Apple uh, Apple fanboys. So with that, I'm going to log off. See you later.